My name is Carl and I'm part of the digital imaging team at the British Library in London. Today I'm going to run through the digitisation standards that we use in order to export high quality images of the collections we're shooting. There are many kinds of imaging processing software available. We use Capture One, but other common applications include Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop or GIMP, which is open source and free. As an example, I will show you how to export using Capture One, but these settings are common in all image processing software. Make sure to look into how to achieve these results with the software you are using. After your shoot, you will need to process your images. In this tutorial, we will discuss the quality standards that the British Library uses during this crucial step. It is best to export your images as TIFF files. These should be approximately 30 megabytes in size for optimum image quality and storage. If you're shooting hundreds of images, your hard drive will soon fill up. Setting an upper limit can help control the amount of data you're generating. If you have shot a manuscript made up of multiple pages, make sure to keep the pages in order and labelled accordingly in sequence. Ensure that your resolution is 300 ppi and we advise using 8-bit grayscale or 24-bit colour to achieve a high quality and clear image. If you're using a colour scale, these should be included in the first and last image only. Make sure these are still visible in the final image you export. If there is some unnecessary space around your collection item in the image, make sure to crop this out. Rotate your image to make it easy to view. Back up all your images on a solid state hard drive formatted to XFAT. This allows the drive to be read on a variety of computer operating systems such as a PC or a Mac. By exporting your final images to a consistent standard and using the principles outlined here, your digitised collection items will be available, searchable and useful long into the future. This tutorial is part of our online video series covering digitization, digital preservation and conservation for the Endangered Archives program. Please feel free to explore these resources at eap.bl.uk slash training videos.